Are you looking for more good love in your life? Do you mind getting this good love by seeing the spirit? Let me lead you to the journey to this good love spirit. Welcome to Crave Love Present Submit Editions. And yes, you got it. Today we're going to talk about a yokai that brings good luck. But first, we have been talking about yokai. What does yokai mean? Yokai is a Japanese word that describes supernatural creatures or monsters and encompasses a wide range of creatures including ghosts, monsters, gods, or deities. There is no good or bad associated with the uh, overall image of yokai. It simply just means it is an otherworldly creature. And the yokai that we're going to talk about today is Sashiki Warashi. So beside of good luck, what does Sashiki Warashi mean? The term in English, it means parlor child or room child. And it is believed to be the spirit of child who brings good fortune and prosperity to the household it resides in. Sashiki Warashi always depicted as mischievous house spirit in Japanese folklore and its name different from region to regions. Some call it Sashiki Warabe, Sashiki Warashi, Sashiki Boko, Okora Boko, Sashiki Kozo, and Karako Warashi. Sashiki Warashi often described as a young child with bob hair in traditional Japanese clothing. They are very playful and uh, friendly, but even mischievous as pulling prank on you as well. If you're lucky enough to see them, their age may vary from 3 years old to 15 years old, rosy cheeks, and having a mischievous uh, smile staring at you. The reason they have multiple different names is because their appearance slightly different, or different behavior, or different locations they appeared within the house. One of the example like Sashiki Boko or Okura Boko, meaning that the spirit, the kid spirits that hide inside the storage house or warehouse. The history of Sashiki Warashi dated back to Edo period. It was believed that Sashiki Warashi was discovered by a family who had been experiencing good luck and good fortunes despite their humble beginning. People also believed that if the spirit of a child who die in a particular room or house could bring good luck and fortune to the family if they were a piece. So a lot of family would dedicate a room in their house to Sashiki Warashi provide them, pro providing them with offerings of foods, toys and other gifts. But there's some darker theory about the origin of Sashiki Warashi. Some theories suggest that Sashiki Warashi actually is the children who were killed and buried in their home, particularly through the custom of Usogoro, uh, which means killing the children by crushing them with a stone of mortals in order to reduce the number of mouth to fit. Oh, I don't really uh... like those theories. There are also theories that the true identity of Sashiki Warashi actually is Kappa which is another yokai or that they are related to Goho Warashi or other childlike deities in Buddhism. This theory is better. Sashiki Warashi even appeared in the famous Tono Monogatari. For those who didn't know what Tono Monogatari is, it is a famous literary written by Kunio Yanagita in Japan. It consists of 31 folklore stories. There's one mentions about Sashiki Warashis. It goes like this. A man named Gonbei who lives in a remote village visited by a young girl claiming to be Sashiki Warashi. Despite his initial skepticisms, Gonbei is intrigued by the girl's behavior and decided to adopt her as his own daughter. He treats her with kindness and respect. And in return, she brings good fortune to his home. However, Gombe's greedy and jealous neighbor finds out about this. He becomes determined to steal her away from for himself. The neighbor attempts to lure her to his home with false promises and tricks. But the Sashiki Warashi sees through his deceits and returns to Gombe's home. In the end, Gonbei and Sashiki Warashi continue to live happily together with the girl bringing prosperity and joy to the household. This makes me wonder, 
Will Sashi Kivarashi leave the household? The answer is yes. Uh? That's the theory. If you see a white sashiki warashi, it will bring the household prosperities and fortune. Wow, if you spotted a red one, doesn't matter a red face, red clothes, red bucket in his hand, red hair, it means that sashiki warashi will leave the household and that bad omen was foreseen to come in the near future. There's even a myth that a family saw a red cloth leading to their death from foodborne illness. Rumor has it you can spot them around Tohoku areas such as Omori prefectures, Miyagi prefectures, Akita prefectures, and especially Iwate prefectures. It was says that Sashiki Warashis was originated in Iwate. Uh? Well, in Amori prefectures, Gonohe, people believe that when you build a new house, Sashiki Warashi can be invited to the house by burying a golden ball under the floor. I know what you've been thinking. I got you covered. I found two online. The first one, Ryoku Fuso, Kintaichi Onsen, located in Iwate Prefectures. The Ryokan owner mentions that the inner room at the end of the long corridor is where Sashiki Warashi live. It was says that Ryoku Fuso burned down on October 4th, 2009, but will restore and open its door on May 14th, 2016. The second hotel that I want to recommend is Sashiki Warashi's house in Yamaguchi Prefecture. This ryokan only got three rooms, including a spacious Japanese room, a private space, and also a wooden floor in the center. It was says that you can see Sashiki Warashi sama in the ryokan as well. So that's the end of Sashiki Warashi. Thank you for watching. Yeah. And first of all, I want to apologize uh, because my PC issue, I couldn't release the crime sub uh, video, but I will do it next week. So stay tuned. And guys, if you really like this channel, please subscribe. I'm lacking of subscriber now. Like this topic, subscribe as well. And if you like this video, please give me a like. I'm going to see you again next week to talk about another mythology. So bye-bye.